This video will show how to rig the rudder power control unit on the C-135 aircraft. We will be following the task in the 1C-135-2-8-1. This video is not intended to replace the technical order. Always refer to the most current version of the 1C-135-2-8-1. Ensure aircraft is safe for maintenance. Isolate the rudder hydraulic system. Position rudder in neutral with rudder pedals. Rotate the rudder trim control crank to place rudder trim indicator at zero and the handle at the three o'clock position. Install one half by 18 inch rigging pin in the aft rudder control quadrant and fin structure. Install five sixteenths by seven eighths inch rigging pin in the field unit carriage assembly. disconnect input rod. Check measurement between rod end and over travel stop for a measurement of 1.97 plus or minus 0 0.02 of an inch. Of to obtain the measurement, loosen the jam nut and make a preliminary adjustment to the input rod to obtain a measurement of 1.97 plus or minus 0 0.02 of an inch between the rod end and over travel stop. Remove cotter pin and safety bolt from the field rod. Loosen jam nuts on field rod plug. Screw adjustment plug out of the field rod end. Adjust the fuel rod plug until approximately 0.12 of an inch gap exists between the plug and PCU fuel rod end. Ensure that the rudder and tab are at the neutral position according to the zero index rivet when setting this gap. Manually move rudder slightly to the left, engaging the fuel rod plug into the PCU fuel rod end. Then screw fuel rod plug into rod end 15 turns. Move manual hydraulic shutoff valve to the open position. Ensure all personnel and equipment are clear of the rudder. Pressurize right hydraulic system. Turn rudder power switch to on, then allow the rudder PCU to stabilize. With jam nuts loosened, turn plug to move rudder to the neutral position. Note, due to the difference of the threads per inch on each end of the fuel rod plug, a small amount of movement of the PCU input arm may result from turning the fuel rod plug in or out of the PCU input rod arm. The limitation of movement is controlled by the thread engagement inspection holes in the rod end and fuel rod. Check that the lower aft corner of the rudder aligns with the zero index point within 0 0.06 of an inch. Ensure cotter pin can be installed prior to check and witness hole. Do not confuse slot alignment and plug for proper thread engagement of the rod end. With safety wire, check that the plug covers thread engagement, witness hole in the field rod and aft rod end. If you cannot achieve proper measurements by adjusting the plug, start over with the initial gap. You can change the initial gap of 0.12 by either increasing or decreasing it to obtain your final alignment of the rudder trailing edge. Turn rudder power switch to off. Do not move plug more than one eighth of a turn to install cotter pin. With backing wrench on plug, 
torque aft fuel rod and bearing jam nut and with backing wrench on plug torque fuel rod jam nut. Note, rudder centering can move to the right as jam nuts are torqued. If the rudder moves out of neutral position after torquing jam nuts, you must reaccomplish your plug adjustments. Temporarily reconnect input rod to PCU. Remove half inch by 18 inch rigging pin in the aft rudder control quadrant and 5 16 by 7 8 inch rigging pin in the field unit carriage assembly. Place rudder power switch to on. Cycle rudder pedals several times. The input rod can provide an input to the PCU and move the rudder surface to a new position when not rigged correctly. Temporarily disconnect the input rod. Ensure that the lower aft corner of the rudder aligns with the zero index point within 0 0.06 of an inch. Turn rudder power switch to off. Install safety bolt with nut and washer. Place rudder power switch to on. Rudder centers within 0 0.06 of an inch of the zero index rivet. Readjust and reinstall the input rod to fit PCU input arm and install bolt. Check that the rigging pin in the aft control quadrant is slip fit. Rudder does not move when ring pin is removed or installed. Place power rudder switch to off. Remove rig pin from aft rudder control quadrant. You are now ready to complete by performing operational checks in accordance with the 1C-135-2-8-1 and complete your forms documentation.